Hey guys, Jeff with Maker's Niche. So in this video, I am going to be updating this 2009 Hasbro Boba Fett helmet. A friend of mine picked this up at a Goodwill, pretty cheap, and of course the rangefinder was missing. That's in another episode, but I just don't like the T visor here, and I'm going to fix that. Do the refresh, rearmored paint job, and uh, we'll get to it here. Dismantle the entire thing so that I can address the the painting uh, individually with the right colors and uh, make it easier to work with. So first thing here, I'm going to get the uh, pieces laid out, masked up, uh, ready for primer. This one's already up and ready to go. Get some primer on these and um, get moving. So hear me say I don't like the T-shape uh, in the helmet. It's way bigger than it should be. It looks odd. Um, so I did some background work here. And off camera, I measured out of what the T should look like uh, and how to make it fit with the existing one. And so I've made this template here, which will be available with the link below uh, in the description. This will be the left and the right side. And then I'll just take this and I will transfer it over to a styrene sheet. This is a 0.2 mil styrene. It's strong enough and flexible enough to um, go around the, the arc of the face of the helmet and attach pretty well. So I'll just uh, outline this and get it cut out, and then I'll flip it over and cut the other side out and then mount them to the helmet. Okay, so here I've got them both glued on already uh, and set around came out very well very happy with this you can see how much white is there that's what I uh, closed the gap of the T one thing I've left to do is put the bar across the top so it's a smooth uh, piece that's going to be all red there and uh, that's also on the template that's available below and here it is all together. I'll grab my heat gun and uh, bend these pieces on the top around the radius of part of the helmet. So it uh, looks like it's actually part of the helmet. But really happy with the way this came out. The T is much nicer. So I've got some primer on it now. And I'm really happy with the way it came out. Uh, very smooth and together. And it just looks really nice. Get some other pieces of... Uh, I've got the primer on. These are all primered up, ready to go with the regular paint colors. Uh, on the dome parts and the parts that are going to be green, I wanted to give a, uh, a black base uh, before I hit it with green, just to make it a little bit uh, fuller, darker uh, color when uh, it, the green goes on. So the other pieces came out very nice with this red I use. The colors that I use will be in the description below. Uh, the manufacturer and the color name. You can find those below, but really happy with this. And get the, uh, get the masking off. So here is the back part of the helmet, all painted up. Um, <laughs> surprised how Christmassy these colors kind of look, but these are going to come out really nice in the end. I'm not really sure why the bottom half uh, is is the matte like it should be, and the dome is this glossy color. But all the primer and paints that I've been using have all been matte, so I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe it's just the plastic they used in the dome is a little different. Same thing here, really shiny on the front half of the dome. I, I left black in uh, the places that are directly behind the visor. You know, really kind of uh, disappointed Hasbro for putting this helmet out uh, the way they did with the pieces under the visor uh, glass part visible completely through because uh, they didn't do those in black. So uh, make sure you do that if you're doing this upgrade. So I'm going to get the full front and back all snapped together here. I want it to be 100% together. 
uh, so when I weather the pieces, they are cohesive. Uh, it tells a, a consistent story, whether I, I weathered them apart in separate pieces, the weathering might not match up. So um, if you're doing the weathering, make sure that the helmet is completely together. You can tell I left the visor out, I left the visor out on purpose so that it wouldn't get any weathering paint on it. And I get some of these detail, decals on here uh, because, you know, I've got to have them with weathering on as well. So most of the decals have to go on uh, prior to weathering. And <laughs> here, I just can't get it lined up. It's really strange, uh, the shape of the helmet, because it's not a circle, it's not an oval. It's, it's very oblong, and uh, <laughs> straight lines do not go well with it. But I got it worked out here. So one thing I noticed on Hasbro's rearmored uh, version of the helmet is that this earpiece is a yellowy, uh, limeish kind of green color. It's definitely distinctively different from the color of the helmet. So what I did here is I just took a yellow wash and just painted over it and uh, gave it that coloring. And on the front, uh, just the inlays here, uh, the right side is red and the left side is green. Get a really fine-tipped um, paintbrush and get down in the crevices. Now for the fun part. Okay, this is the weathering. I love weathering. Uh, it tells a story. It tells where the helmet's been, who's had it, what kind of environment it's been in. Um, so what I do here, this is just a black wash. I just want to go over the helmet everywhere, every crevice, uh, crack on the surfaces, and just put it on and take it off. Put it on and take it off um, to give that definition and the separation between the parts. And I'll just do this around the entire helmet everywhere, and uh, I'll show you, skip through and show you the final product on it. So here we've got the first pass of the black wash and the weathering. And you can already tell the texture it's given to it and the depth. Uh, the next pass will be a lighter, browner, uh, dirtier color. i mix this up. It's a, just a wash. It's very thin. And I'll basically do the same thing, but I want to make it much broader. I want to bring it out away from the cracks in the crevices because the black just kind of separates the parts and gives the shadows where this is really going to be the actual dirt um, you know I know this is Boba Fett's rearmored helmet but he's on Tatooine he's in sandstorms it's it's a totally acceptable that he's going to his helmet's going to get filthy so the real point of this pass is to just tell a story So happy with how this came out. This looks amazing. Um, I really like just picking and choosing places where this goes. Uh, it it just pops. It makes um, it believable that, of what this is. So really happy with it. And you know what? This wouldn't be Boba Fett's helmet if there wasn't Beskar scratches and the paint coming through uh, or chipped off and the Beskar showing through. So what I'm doing here is just taking uh, some rub and buff and it's a silver rub and buff and I'm just going to go across places where, you know, I think his hand would have rubbed, taking the helmet on and off, if he sits it down, if he kicked it over, if it sat, rolled down the ground, what high spots would the paint peel off at? And that's really what I'm doing here.
So final result here of the weathering and the rub and buff pass. All these scratches and marks and dings and nicks just give such a story to this helmet. And I'm very pleased with how it's coming out here. Looks really good. I wish this was my helmet actually. But like I said, I'm doing this for a friend. And uh, I hope they love it. I'm sure they will. But if you've got this 2009 helmet, I really urge you to follow through and do this. Um, you know, I said earlier the rangefinder was missing. I have another video just dedicated to rebuilding this rangefinder and attaching it. So go and check that out. Okay, guys, it's nightmare time. Um, the <laughs> acrylic matte clear coat that I was hoping to use to dull the shiny paint frosted. Um, I didn't check the humidity levels, and the humidity in the air can do this, and I freaked out. Like, I thought I was going to completely have to repaint this helmet all over again, but jumped online, YouTube is your friend, and I found out that some olive oil buffed into the uh, acrylic matte clear coat will take the clouding out. And it's miraculous that it did that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time. I'm going to completely dismantle the helmet. I'm going to buff each piece uh, individually to get the um, the clouding off and then I'll get it reassembled with the shield and the rangefinder and this project is done. watching this video guys if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up as always click subscribe and uh, watch for the new videos see you guys soon